Hello everybody, thank you for joining me, this is Game God Fluent, bringing you episode 27 of Let's Play Dark Disciples 2, Rise of the Earth Spirits. Let's go ahead and load number 9 here. Alright, so we've got some work to do uh, to get ready for the next adventure. I think first of all, let's go ahead and head to the merchant. And, um... Actually, we should probably dump some stuff we've got going on here at the Gilded Axe. Uh, required Strength 8. Nothing we can really use here. Scimitar plus 2. Um, let's go ahead and see what we can sell. Can we sell the lens? Hmm. I'm not prepared to sell that. Uh, amulet of Endurance. Endurance, Amulet of Might, Amulet of Insight, Amulet of Agility, Acid Bolts plus 5, Silly Spell, Prayer Skill Bonus, Ring of Fire plus 2. Not prepared to get rid of really any of that stuff. Archer's Belt, Endurance Bonus. We can get rid of an Endurance Bonus because we have one. Ring of the Medusa. We have three holy symbols. None differing from one another. Two crazy mushrooms, a broken vial, a sickle, a gong mallet still. Got that healing herb. Um, one of the lily? I don't know. Do we ever need that again? Probably not. Um, let's get rid of fine silks. I mean, pretty much have to. Because um, we're out of room in our vault, so it gives us 2,400 gold. That's everything I want to sell. Let's go ahead to the King's Way. Well, actually, let's head to our... Uh, our vault. And put some of this stuff away. Only one vault per customer. It's a little rough. Um, required strength 8. So let's go ahead and put the leather jerkin back for now. We're going to use the robes. Oh, that's going to be a problem, isn't it? It takes up th six slots. Um, hmm. Let's get rid of the flower. Uh, One second, guys. Okay, we're back. Um, let's see here. Uh, I had to save. Um, I don't know if we'll ever need enlarged lily pads again. The chainmail vest. probably sell that. I can always buy it. Well, see, I don't know. There's a lot of stuff here. Acid bolts. Um, and put away. I guess we'll sell more silks. Um, That takes six slots. Put you down here, put you there. I guess that's good. Um, we don't need this potion.
Book of Heroism, Book of Blessings. Um, don't need that potion. We have plenty of scrolls of beacons, so let's put a scroll of beacons or two away. Hmm, what am I using? Amulet of Might. So we can sell another Amulet of Might. Oops. And let's try to go to the curio shop and see if we can pitch some of these curios we're carrying. But probably can't, actually. Let's go ahead and sell... Can't sell the pixie dust and stuff. Uh, amulet of might, the flower, the silks. Like, if they let us keep that stuff, we should be able to get rid of it too. Might have something you're interested in. Rare and exotic items. He wants nothing to do with any of it. Uh, probably just sell the vintage wine. Well, let's hang on to it. I don't know who would want a vintage wine. Archer's belt. We have to just drop some of this stuff, like the, all this quest item stuff, except the crazy mushrooms. Um, let's put the scroll of teleportation in there. We'll drop all this. Um, and we'll do that, and we'll go use that gold scale. So I think that'll help let's head to administration see what we can do with the gold scale okay show me the pro uh, Priceless. Bentley pulls out. Oh, I need two scales just to make the boots or gauntlets. Huh. We only have one scale, so for now, we'll keep the scale there. Let's go ahead and. Oh, turn on quest items can be dropped. No one wants to buy these things, so... We're smashing orbs on his floor. Smashing the lenses which we've used. Um... Gong mallet. would be cool if someone would buy this stuff after the fact, but I can understand them not. It's no big deal. I think we still might have use for that lantern um, later on. As well as the mushrooms. We don't want to get rid of them. Alright, that looks good. Uh, cool. So let's go ahead and save. So I think we're pretty much ready then. 
to head to the next adventure path. Um, to come in here and talk to you. I don't have any portal keys. Surmise they're created like a star. Alright, um... Can't go to the King's Palace. We didn't find any pieces of a staff yet. So, we do have skill points to spend. A skill point. Um... I was thinking of getting it in targets here. Uh, one second, guys. All right. Oh, let me get my mic here. I was not prepared. We are back. Get my mic going. Okay. So let's go ahead and get that point of. Did I say I was going to get targets here? Or prayer. Um, see, we have gem lord dual weapons. That's two attack things. Uh, let's get another prayer. Actually, let's go to the temple district. And we're pretty close to another level. for prayer cost 25 GP that's our last skill point okay we need some energy we need to rest we've got 3100 gold I don't know what to do with any of it um, <clears throat> uh, anything up there Nothing really. Um, check out the Holy Avengers gift shop. It's something we could see if there's anything we could potentially buy. Light healing, healing. And it, oh, we're going to need to cure disease. Holy symbol, Mortis Letalis, Nemesis Stone. For 2,000. Attacking undead, take damage equal to your level. And a holy man's mace. Ooh. Plus two damage. It's a light weapon. And it's 1d8 for cadaverous undead slayer. I'm going to go ahead and buy that. Where did it go? Where the heck did it go? Oh, there it is. Put that right on. We've got Aquatic Slayer and Lycanthrope Slayer still. But that's great for Undead. Got our Dual Weapon Skill Belt. <clears throat> our Targeteer Belt. Where's our Prayer Belt? There it is. Let's take that Prayer Belt and put it over here. Put our amulets here, our gold scale, ring of fire, petrification immunity. We're wearing hit point bonus and poison immunity. Um, okay, everything looks to be on the up and up. Got a holy man's mace, which costs us a good chunk of our money. Um, I'm not going to go for the mortis letalis or whatever it is, because I don't know if that's only a one use item. It's a little expensive at 2000 The rabbit's foot. Uh, let's see, what else is there? Let's head to the merchant district. Let's head to the bank and put some of this money away. We need food, actually. Let's go to the food broker.
food. Bye, 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 bye. Let's go ahead and deposit. One thousand. Is there anything we can do with our money? Can they invest it or something? I trust you are satisfied with your purchase. The bag of holding works as promised. Yes, it does. We've got 529. We've got plenty of gems. Plenty of stuff going on. In the vault. Not a ton of inventory space, but we're going to have to make it work. Um, let's head out for the next adventure. Which would be going to the administration district. And finally dealing with the pirates. That's going to free up our boat to the frontier lands. So let me go ahead and save here. We'll at least get the adventure started. Make sure we completed this one, right? We've already completed this module. Alright, a dodgy soft adventure for character level 7 to 9. This might be tough. The Pirates of Angland takes place on the sea of the Far Eastern lands. Pirates have plagued the seas of Angland for too long. <clears throat> Here we go. Oh, does it have lily pad? What is this up here? Whoops. Nothing, just a little tease. Okay, so there are in fact two missions to carry out here at Seaside. The first and most important regards the pirate activity in the area. The administration suspects that a small covert pirate base exists somewhere in the area. We need you to discover the base and trawl it for intel. What kind of intel? New quest, extra log. Basically, whatever you can find. However, the hope is that we can discover information about the location of the main pirate base. It's believed to be on some remote island, either in the northern or eastern sea, but to date, our spies have not been able to locate it. She waves a hand. If we could discover its location, we have a chance to wipe them out once and for all. Needless to say, the administration is very keen for this to happen. After all, Durwich is losing vast profits to these thieves. And the second mission? Yes, Seaside is currently under the control of the Inquisitors, a bunch of religious zealots who command considerable power and influence. They are in the middle of a witch-burning crusade that has gotten completely out of control. Worse still, they are also challenging the rightful authority of the king himself. In short, they need to be eliminated. Eliminated? New quest added to log. We don't care how you do it, but you'll need to be very careful. The king mustn't be implicated in any way. Politics, you understand, it does not look good if the Regency and the Church are seen to be in open conflict. I understand. Remember, obtaining intel on the secret pirate base is the priority. The Inquisitors can wait another day if need be. Don't mess up. I'm sure you understand the potential consequences if you do. I do. Okay, so this is going to be a pretty, uh... Pretty tricky one. I, th I think we're 27. Right? Wait. Oh. Okay. Let's go. Intel on the pirate base. And dealing with inquisitors. Always check trees and rocks. You never know when you're going to find a little goodie. Dashed away. Seaside. There's no reason to travel in that direction. Okay, this is Jasper's residence. Okay. 
Hey, what the hell are you doing snooping about in my house? Get out! Get out now, I say! Sorry, Jasper. He wasn't into it. Okay. Blood. The wagons have been ransacked. There is blood everywhere, but no bodies. Hmm. Oh, but the end of this waterway? No. <sighs> Mad old woman. An old, wrinkled woman hobbles along the roadside, mumbling to herself and seemingly oblivious to her surroundings. She wears ratty old clothes, and her hair is wild and unkempt. As you draw near, she looks up with rummy eyes. Care to assist an old lady, kind traveler? Sure, how can I help? She pats you gently on the shoulder. I am old and half blind and in need of a few coin to get by. Might you be interested in buying a few pretty pebbles? She pulls out a handful of stones which, to your surprise, turn out to be diamonds. You estimate they must be worth hundreds of gold pieces. I found these pretty rocks by the river. You can have them if you like, if you would be kind enough to spare a few coin for an old lady. Lady, those are diamonds you have there. They must be worth a small fortune. Really? Diamonds, you say? She holds the stones close up to her rummy eyes and examines them carefully. So they are. Well, well. Fancy that. I would keep them out of sight if I were you. There are plenty of thieves and cut purses around. She smiles. Right you are. Right you are. As you stand there, somewhat bemused, she hobbles past. You turn to offer her assistance, but find she has inexplicably disappeared. Yeah, I'm not going to rob an old lady of her diamonds, bro. That's not how we roll in Durwich or anywhere. To seaside that way. Well, what's this way? Helen. Well, well, seems I have a visitor. What may this old lady do for you? Perhaps you'd like to come in for a cup of tea? Or do you seek healing? You're a healer? She smiles. Amongst other things, if you are in need of aid, I would be happy to help. What have you heard about these inquisitors that have appeared in Seaside? The Knights of the Hammer, they call themselves. Full of self-righteous piety, them are. Fancy themselves as holy warriors, but what they really are is deluded and self-important. They terrorize the people, accuse old ladies of being witches, even burnt them at the stake. She waves a dismissive hand in the air. Probably come for me one day, being a healer and all herbs, you know? They'd be very suspicious of all the arts. They need to be stopped. They do indeed. Their menace has become too great, and though I am loath to act, it is necessary for the greater good. You sound like you have a plan. She winks knowingly. I do, and it would require the assistance of one such as yourself. It is not within me to murder these people, but they must be stopped, and for this reason I have developed a most potent enchantment. Enchantment? You're a sorceress, or a witch? Shh, not so loud. Even uttering such a word is a great risk. You never know who might be listening. She lowers her voice. But to answer your question, yes, I am a witch. Fear not, I follow the Wicca tradition, not that of the raven. My master is the natural world. So you're a white witch. If that is the term you prefer, then yes, I am thus. Tell me about Wicca. The world, the natural world, is comprised of unseen energies and forces. We tap into this energy and gain power from it, a discipline called the craft. Our magic is largely ritualistic in nature. That is, unlike, say, a wizard who casts spells at will, we must perform detailed rituals and ceremonies to appeal to the natural forces from which we derive our power. The time of day, the waxing and waning of the moon, the cycles of the seasons, all aspects of the natural world must be taken into consideration. Similarly, aspects of our power can be drawn from two primary forces, that of the masculine and the feminine. You understand? Sounds complicated. Wouldn't it just be easier to become a wizard? For one thing, the life of a Wiccan is a calling, not something that is chosen by cold, detached reasoning. In any case, you misunderstand. To become a white witch is a spiritual journey, not an intellectual one. We do not take this road for power and wealth or any other base motive. But do not think us defenseless or impotent. Only a fool crosses a witch, be they black or white. So, what is the plan then? 
The coven to which I belong is now a circle of seven, and the timing is right. The north winds blow and the moon wanes. A most ancient enchantment will be recited, one that has not been heard for many centuries. However, to detect the focus of the ritual, we need to obtain a personal item from each of the five inquisitors. An artifact of clothing, a lock of hair, anything of that nature. Go on. This will, of course, be your task. Take care in this matter, for the Inquisitors are knowledgeable in the ways of our craft and will become suspicious if you be careless. I need not remind you of the consequence of being accused of witchcraft by such men. I also need something else. Go on. To the east of here lies the old town, Grayshire. It's abandoned now. Has been for a very long time, in fact. My spies tell me there is a creature living in the catacombs under the city. A most foul Medusa. I need you to kill it and take some of its blood. Understand? Don't Medusa turn people to stone merely by gazing at them? That is quite correct, but it will not necessarily be a problem, at least if you can locate a magical ring called the Ring of the Medusa. It will protect you from the creature's stare. We have one. The ring I gave to one such as yourself on a previous occasion. The adventurer went into Grayshire and never returned, so presumably the ring is somewhere in the abandoned city. On his corpse, perhaps. New quest added to Log. She smiles apologetically. If a simpler solution presented itself, I would gladly take it. But rest assured, if you can obtain all these objects, my coven will evoke a most potent enchantment that will rid Seaside of the Inquisitors once and for all. Okay can't talk to her anymore about anything else thank you Helen oh the cat watches you with deep green eyes you cannot shake the feeling that a deeper more human like intelligence lurks within a secret door how cool Hmm. A dark, mysterious path leads deep into the woods. Oh boy. Okay, that looks like where the, they'll invoke the uh, ritual. So I have no business being here. Leave the Witch's Grove. Hmm. Have to keep in mind the name of the area appears down below. I. I often don't look at that. And a tombstone. Hmm. Alright. Let's keep going this way, I guess. Weird. Huh. Nothing. All right, let's go to Seaside then. Another cauldron bubbling. Wait, is this the way I came? No. We've got a bandit humanoid and his cave bear. Okay. Bandit slain, 9 XP gained. Eight XP gained. Oh, a little bandit encampment. And they keep their cave bears with them. Nice. Oh no. Leveling up. The 
crate contains stolen goods, presumably from the destroyed caravan you passed earlier by the roadside. Wine flagons. Crate contains stolen goods. Exotic spices. Fine silk. Wow. Hmm. Anything they buried here? Would be a good place to hide stuff. All right, I guess that's that. To seaside. Seaside barracks is empty now. The Grand Inquisitor scared off the council, disbanded the militia, and took over. Huh. Well, that goes to Seaside. What does... this path go to road to Grayshire don't go into Grayshire the town was abandoned long ago it isn't safe but your house is safe I'm just gonna double check wow really Hmm, nothing. Guess we're heading into Grayshire first. We'll just check some spots. Danger, Grayshire is a ghost town, enter at your own risk. Successfully disarmed the trap, that's surprising. We barely have any disarm trap skill. Cadaverous undead. Or ravenous. <laughs> nice. A trap door. Oof. Tiny yellow mushrooms grow from the rotten old table. Mm, broken pot. Oh, I guess I can't go through that trap door. <clears throat> A cave. This way first. An old rotten table it looks nearly ready to collapse under its own weight. Broken cup. Bunch of ravenous. 
our undead slayer is our secondary weapon. Which does major damage to them. Secret door. Um, what? Nothing. Okay. Dusty old table. Tiny spiders have covered the table in webs. A broken pot. level nice glad we bought the holy man mace it's pretty wicked so far dusty old table Cutlery. Old rotten table, moldy food scraps lie scattered about, a broken bowl. Just an empty bedroom. Oh. Cadaverous Undead Bone Dragon. Oh boy. And I have not saved. I have not saved. Oh my gosh. We have not saved once. Is it 28B? I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. Or 28A? The Raven is dead. <sighs> Must equip some ammo. Oh, I haven't been keeping up with the ammo. Alright, we may be able to do this. Oh, the holy man maze is what's gonna do it. Wow, we're taking on a freaking bone dragon. Nice. Nice. 11 XP. Bone dragon slayed. And another one of those dragon places. Hmm. I can't go down further. An old table covered in filth and debris, a broken bowl. Seems to be the running gag here. Graves. Give <clears throat> me for five. Another one of those strange metallic devices. We don't have anything in the form of a slot. 
that I can think of. Let's go ahead and put on that Medusa ring instead of the poison. Save. There's our level. Wow, nothing here. Hmm. The water in this well is stagnant and infested with mosquito larvae. That's not good. Ah, we have found a way down, but we really need to rest and we really need to level up. Oh, Medusa on the walls, Medusa's lair. Oh, this is awesome. Who are you? Oh, you're petrified dudes. Someone has scratched a message in the table, the secret is in the eyes. Gold pieces. Medusa snakes. Probably be best to put on the poison ring as well. For these snakes. really should go level up. The wall is cracked, requires 15 strength. I'm ready to fight a Medusa. Very nice. We're getting closer. Arrows plus two. That's perfect timing for arrows plus two. Nice little free XP. Whoops. Fresco. Before you use a large multi-paneled fresco, each panel depicts a scene of bloody battle. The first panel depicts a giant spider attacking a group of terrified children who are trapped within a web-covered cave. Its eight beady eyes glint malevolently in the dark. View the next panel. The second panel depicts a noble unicorn reared up on hind legs and gallantly fighting off a horde of goblins. Next panel. The third panel depicts a chimera launching itself into the air from a rocky outcrop. White-capped mountains are visible along the horizon. Next panel. The fourth panel depicts the Cerebus, the two-headed hellhound that guards the entrance to the Nine Hells. Next panel. The fifth and final panel depicts a Cyclops, his massive club raised over his head as spear-wielding warriors stab at the giant's legs and torso. Huh. The skull perched upon the top of the stack suddenly speaks. If you wish to gaze upon the Queen of Serpents, the passcode must utter here. 
have a passcode? That is not the passcode. You may not pass here. Passcode for Medusa? Oof. Free easy XP. Huh. A passcode. The secret is in the eyes. doesn't let me type it all out um eyes secret is in the eyes Eight beady eyes glint malevolently in the dark. Huh. Secret is in the eyes. Beady? Eight. the eyes is it glint in Try this already, glint in the dark. Huh. The secret is in the eyes. Cyclops has one eye. Oh, wait. Okay. Eight. Two. Chimera. How many eyes does the Chimera have? Six. Eight, two, six, four. Eight, two, six, four, one. Let's try that. Eight, two, six, four, one. Eight, two, six, four, one. Yes, the eyes are the key. You may enter the presence of the Slithering Queen. Oh my gosh, I did it. How much time have we been playing? 49 minutes, I've got to wrap this up. Thank you so much for watching. Oh my gosh, it's getting so interesting. 
I think this is episode 27, 28, but it might be 27, actually. Um, but we'll see. But anyway, thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you're enjoying. We're going to meet Medusa. A Medusa after this next episode here. It's getting super interesting. Um, hope you're enjoying as well. Feel free to check out the rest of the LP. I'm low on health. We need, you know, some help here. But uh, thank you for watching. Appreciate you guys. Much love, peace, and joy. Take care. And see you guys in the next one. Faux show. So long.